Hey guys, so this is a requested video. Um, I'm doing my favorite false lashes, and my favorite false lashes tend to be very wearable, so they're very like natural looking, or as natural as false lashes can look, and I'm going to start with my two favorite ones that are the most natural, which are the um, Ardell 301s, which look like that, and the Ardell 305s, which look like that. Now, I know um, Marlena from Makeup Geek, um, she loves the 305s, and I do too. I think they're fabulous. They're half lashes, so they go on the outer corner of your eye, and they blend in really seamlessly. They're very easy to apply. They look really natural. Um, the 305s are more dramatic, definitely, than the 301s. The 301s are a little bit shorter and um, a little bit more natural, just due to the, like, they don't have a band on the top and they're a little bit more wispy towards the end where the 305s have much stronger kind of points to them. The 305s are ideal for like a cat eye or if you're ever doing like a you know winged liner look they're perfect for that. The 301s are great for like any day when you just want a natural look but you want to add a little oomph with a lash. I'm actually wearing the 301s today so I'll show you what they look like in the corner. They're just like they're not um, super dramatic, but they're really just add a little pumped, and nobody ever knows that you're wearing them. Like, I've never gotten caught caught or whatever wearing them. Like, my um, my friends always are like, are you wearing fake lashes when I'm wearing, like, the full set? But with the 301s, people never know. They never know you're wearing them. It's really fun. So they're kind of like a, a cheating way of doing, like, individual lashes on the outside, like I showed in one of my tutorials. Um... They're not quite as full as if you do the individual ones, but they're a, a lot quicker to apply, and um, they already have like a great angled shape, so you don't have to worry about that. And then my other favorites are the 117s from Ardell. Now these ones are very like wispy, really natural looking, um, and they are tapered. So towards the inside, they're shorter than they are on the outside. Oosh, I don't know what the best way of showing these is, but um, there you go. So they go, you know, they get longer towards the outside, and they're just really nice to pop on to any look. I find as full lashes go, these are the ones that I can get the most volume and look the most natural wearing. Um, they definitely don't look like fake lashes, and I really, really like those. Um, the 21s from... Andrea, these are from the Mod Lash line, are a little bit shorter than the 117. They have that same natural wispy effect, and they also are tapered, so they're shorter in the inside and longer on the outside. But these are really natural. Um, sometimes I almost think these are like too natural, like they just add another layer. They don't really always add a whole lot of length to my lashes. But if you have shorter lashes, these would be perfect. Or if you just want that, that volume and not necessarily the length. This, the 117s definitely add length to my lashes. That's why I really like them. And then I really love the 120s from Ardell. And they're very, very like wispy. Um, they really remind me of like a lot of lashes that Jennifer Lopez wears. I know that's weird, but she always wears like really like crazy lashes if you notice they're really overlapping they're not like all in a straight line and they kind of look like they just look really full and voluminous and these are my favorite for a really sexy sultry look like if I wanted to do a really smoky eye at night I already have like the dark eyeshadow on you pop that on it's just like wow you know a lot of times like shorter lashes if you're doing a really dark look will kind of get lost in the look but if you wear like these which are really thick and dark they come out really really nicely um another one that i really like is the 125s from ardell and these are kind of like a sunburst effect i think these kind of give you like a doe look um they're, you can get away with wearing these in the daytime because they're so spread out. Um, they don't look really heavy on your eye, but they do give you length and they kind of make you look like really awake. I don't know how they work. I mean, maybe it's they're more curved. No, I don't know, but they're I really like these. Um, they're really young. They're fun and young, so they're not you know really serious lashes. Um, and I think that's oh, and they're really similar to. Um, 
Andrea has a 53, which are a little bit smaller and more dense. So if you see those next to each other, the 53s are shorter, smaller, more dense. The 125s are longer and a little bit more spread out. So same idea, the 53s are going to look a little bit more um, stiff. I'm not as huge a fan of those as the 125s. I think the 125s are a lot more natural looking. And um, the 110s are another one of my favorites. Whoops, I just dropped it. Okay, sorry. So the 110s um, are another one of my favorites. They are really natural looking, like really, really natural. Um, if you want to get away with wearing a full set during the daytime, I really like love these for that. They're tapered, but very slightly. So they don't like wing out a lot on one side. They're just kind of like even all the way across. And because they don't have that band on the the edge of them um, they just have the individual lash attachments they don't give you like a really thick liner line or anything like that so um, yeah so those are my favorite um, false lashes and if you guys have any other ones that you like please leave them below because I love trying out different ones those are just all the ones that I usually have and keep on hand um, when I run out of one I usually try to get another one and a lot of them I have like eight of them just in case like my 301s and my 305s because I use those all the time and I only really use my lashes maybe up to um, three or four times I try to keep them as long as possible but they just start to lose their shape after that and I find them like you know too hard to apply and then they just don't look as great so yeah so those are my favorite false lashes and if you guys have any other questions please leave them below and I'll talk to you all soon bye